the annual duck race. <laughs> Ducks being assisted. morning. Ten locks and several of these apparently. I'm knackered. <laughs> Bye. I'm not entirely sure what happened here. I don't know why it's gone into portrait instead of landscape. I've obviously had some video somewhere that's been the wrong way up. Anyway, where in case you don't know, which most of you probably don't, this is the Langochlan or Langollan Canal or however it's pronounced. It's probably one of the windiest, busiest canals on the entire network in the UK, I think. And we were on it in August. Bridge numbers change here, so we go from whatever they were numbers wise to 1W. I'm assuming that means west. I shall have to go and goggle, don't I? And then, of course, forget to tell you what it means. Standard operating procedures apply here. a bit wild and woolly out here. We were trying to decide where the towpath is. Hiding in there. There's not much of it. I think you might need your long trousers on to go down that one. So we're trying to find out what the W stands for and I haven't found out so far. I thought it might mean W for Wales but we're still not in Wales yet. Although we have been in Wales for about five minutes and then back out again. The border between England and Wales is erratic to say the least. Nice views round here though, eh? What do you think? Nice view on a day like today where it's not raining. <laughs> Say hello to him. Say hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. Maybe we should teach him how to say it in Welsh for when we do get into Wales. He only said his summer haircut. As you can see, he's dead happy about it. Annie! Annie! Say hello! Uh. <laughs> it's a shame he's not as eager to say hello as Danny is, is it? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No teeth again. So we've got some time to kill between um, trading opportunities now. So we were trading at Ellesmere last weekend. And we've just spent three days in what has to be probably one of the worst internet areas in the UK. Which has been great. 
So now we're back out. We're going towards the aqueduct that nobody can pronounce. We may or may not go over it. I don't think we will. We won't get there today. I think we think we might, depending on whether we come across somewhere that's just too glorious not to moor up there. Get as far as Chirk, which also has an aqueduct and a tunnel. Greedy Chirk. But the idea is over the next few days is to try and just take it as steady as possible and find nice places to stop, chill out, get back to why we're on a boat in the first place. Why do they look like they're stuck? There's a boat in front of us that's just stopped. Hang on. I don't know why they just stopped, but they set off again. So we're on what's known as the Shropshire Union Llangollen branch which is quite a long branch which also has its own branch is I think it's got the Pre's Arm and the Montgomery one of the advantages of this canal is it seems to have lots and lots of visitor moorings there's, there's a lot of them and there's a lot of little rings for you to moor up on lots of places to stop quite a lot of them are in the middle of nowhere but if you're on holiday and you want the middle of nowhere then that's grand there are also a lot of boats on this canal we sat and nerded on uh, Wednesday because we had no internet so we decided to do some nerding um, and inside we've got a little blackboard on the wall so we kept a tally of all the boats that went past us on Wednesday and on Wednesday, between the hours of, well, 8 and 9 o'clock at night, we think we had a grand total of 63 boats that went past us. That's 63. When we were on the Chesterfield last year, we were lucky if we had three. So we've been spoiling somewhere on these lovely quiet canals because all these boats are killing me. It's like, oh my word, it's just like... Uh, been on the motorway. <laughs> Maybe not quite that bad, but you know, you get used to being out in the middle of nowhere and everything being quiet. There's also quite a flow on this canal, so the water from the Horseshoe Falls, which is in Hlangolan, I think. Please don't shoot me if it's not, I'll, I'll get it right. The water flows down the canal at quite a rate, I think it's from the River Dee so there's a constant I don't know if it's two miles an hour or two knots current pushing the other way so going this way is slow, when you get to bridges it can be interesting because of the narrowing and it's shallow and everything going the other way we're going to go down here like a bullet out of a gun Oh, I can see hills to the left. Too late for you to see them though. I'll show you them in a minute. Hi. Here's the excerpt from the nerdy day. Look at all them. All those boats. If anyone tells you the Flangolan isn't busy, they're lying. We've got two locks to do today. I don't know if there's any swing bridges or not, because they're not on the map. Which is dead helpful. Mm. See? Slow. 
slow, slow, slow. <laughs> oh, she could smell it in here. It smells lovely. whether that's a good thing or not I suppose but if you get a lot of bugs it must be a bit of a pain but do you think it's scalloped on purpose or do you think it's where people have hit it no that's definitely on purpose isn't it I wonder why they didn't do it on the left hand side after they put the We're just grounded coming through a bridge. Not for long. As you can see, we're moving again, so <laughs> we didn't get stuck for long. There was an awful grinding noise though, as there was stuff stuck underneath us. The things I've been trying to find while we've been tootling down here are plums. I want to make some plum jam. I've seen a lot of damsons but the ones we've found have been rock hard. We found one plum tree that had like 10 plums on it so we ate four. They were very nice. So if you spot any let us know. I'd like to make some jam. We've had blackberries. They're still just a tiny little bit tarty at the minute. Might be nice to put in the freezer for next year. I say next year, I mean winter, you know winter when we all start getting scurvy. Throw a few blackberries in the uh, freezer now. And, and raspberries, if we buy raspberries at the supermarket now, if you buy the British ones, because they're going out of season, so quite often they're starting to um, reduce them a little bit. So if you buy a few of them and freeze them, so one of the ways that we freeze them is if you put them on a, a baking tray or something like that so lay them all out singularly so they're not all together if you freeze them that way then when you put them in a bag or whatever when they're frozen they don't all stick together so you can take out you know however many you want to have on your porridge or whatever you're having without having a whole smushy mess of squidgy raspberries in a bag so there you go there's my culinary tip for today it's not culinary is it what would it be? If I was in America, it'd be canning. But I'm not, I'm here. I don't know. Storage. Storage of raspberries. There you go. And then popular, popular poplar trees. But then what don't know, it's them big tall ones in front of me. They are poplars. P-O-P-L-A-R. What's that for a view? Is 
Shirk Aqueduct. Well, the bit that we're on the aqueduct and that up there is the train line. It's not quite as high as the other aqueduct, but it's high enough. If I didn't film this bit, you'd probably shoot me. So this is the highly unpronounceable Welsh aqueduct. I should put the name of it on the text bit and garble it for you. Something along the lines of the Ponticility Aqueduct. <laughs> ah, da -da. Can you see it? If all goes to plan, we will be trading just down here, Bank Holiday Weekend, with a bit of luck. Say hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. Are you looking forward to going over the p p p p aqueduct? I'm not sure. Do you want to put the side up? <laughs> <laughs> See if we can fall out. Yeah, da, da, da. Danger boating. Oh! It looks very narrow from here. It looks very narrow. And he's bobbling away, but he's got nothing to do with the aqueduct because he doesn't know it's an aqueduct. Children should be supervised at all times due to the wide gap in the historic railings. Please do not lose your children over the side. It never goes down well with their parents. So from here it looks pretty tame, doesn't it? I'm just going to move Ernie this way a little bit. <laughs> Don't sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. See, now you can't see anything. This is a better view. Oh, look. There would appear to be nothing there. That's the only thing between us. And not a lot really. Look at that. If you don't like heights, step away quickly. Because you ain't gonna like this. That's just crazy. Pleased to know that this is not the side that you walk down. This is not the side you walk down. Look at that for a view. Isn't that fabulous? Welsh Wales at its finest. Woohoo! I'll show you the other side, shall I? The bit that you can walk on. Oh, look at all these nice railings to stop you from falling off. Over there, there's a it's a railway bridge. There's a nice path that you can walk down if you wish. Sorry if I'm making you feel sick by whizzing the camera around. It's not my intention. There you go. I think down there is that the River D down there, Dan? D that Dan 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 D down there. Waving it around like a flag. Hang on. The reverse view. There's 
the River Dee. That flows all the way down the uh, Lang Langollen Canal to give people water at the other end. Oh, we do go over it. Oh, goody. It's a bit chilly up here. I should imagine it looks very, very different in winter when it's not all green. Yeah. What? That'd be quite amazing when it's... Um, there. You can see a lot further. A lovely bridge. <laughs> 